Uh, yeah, all week we uh, we knew if the guy was going to go down uh, that they would have a long mesh with their reads and, you know, it just opportunity came. I saw the guy's head down. I knew he was going to come out and block me, so I just deci uh, decided to go take my shot. No, yeah, no, that was, that was a lot of fun. Uh, I think it just kind of put, like, the, the last nail in the coffin for us to, you know, go ahead and play the game that we know how to play and go out there and, you know, offense went out, back out there and scored and just kind of kept rolling, went on a run. How big did you guys play last week? It, was, it didn't look like you blitzed really at all the entire game. Yeah, no, Coach White just wanted to keep it simple for us. Uh, he knew with the, the 11 guys going out there, we'd be okay uh, to go out there and just play our base stuff. Uh, and then... You know, just goes to show how true our depth really is and how far they've come uh, with our red team going in there and then especially our white team. I mean, you didn't really see a, a drop off, right? I mean, Mason Goldman got, you know, one of the other, only other sacks in the whole game. And, you know, that just goes to show how much work we've been putting in uh, over these past few months. What do, you, what do you remember about the Colorado game last season and just what they threw at you, what you have to be prepared for this week? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, they're obviously a talented team. You know, they got talented players. They're, they're pretty solid on offense. Um, fortunately, I didn't get to play the first half because of what happened in Minnesota. But, uh, I mean, yeah, you know, we're just going to go and prep and, you know, treat them like any other opponent and just go watch the film and make sure we're ready for them. Do you think about that, that you get a you get a full game to get after them and participate in this rivalry last year and you didn't see them play? Yeah, I mean, it's really hard to come in, uh, you know, after everyone's already in their kind of groove out there, kind of their flow of the game, and then trying to, you know, jump in there, you know, cold and trying to figure out where where the game's going, what they're thinking, and what's already happened. So it's a lot different from watching from the sideline than actually being in the game. Did you travel there in 2019 as well? I did not, no. No, I watched that game from home. But just the intensity of this rivalry, what, I mean, you've seen a few of them now as a player. What jumps out about the rivalry? Yeah, you know, it's intense. I mean, going out there, it's really cutthroat. Um, both teams going at it. Uh, you can really feel the – the emotion and the energy from both sides of the ball. Uh, and, you know, just the history that I've been told about from, you know, the older guys and even the guys that played here in the 90s. So I know that it runs deep uh, on both sides. I thought you played, what, like 20 reps in that game, the opener. I mean, it wasn't, there wasn't a ton of work um, for you and, and Nash um, in the whole, you know, the whole starting D line. Is that, is that, do you like that at the beginning of the year to kind of ease into things, or would you like to be able to throw yourself in and play 40 or 50 reps in, in, in the first game? Well, I mean, yeah, you know, I don't I don't mind going out there playing 40, 50. I mean, it just, I just think that the dominance of our performance just allowed us to get everybody a chance to go, go in and play. And I think Coach Rule has done a really great job of, you know, helping us, you know, go out there, do what needs to be done to allow those guys, you know, that are on scout team every week and give us a great look, and, you know, or, I mean, our, line, our scout online don't really have any subs. So, I mean, they're going for each trade period. I mean, today they went around, you know, like a game, like 50 plays just in a row. I mean, they're dying out there. They're, they're putting their body on the line for us to give a good look. I mean, and f to be able to watch those guys go in the game and, and be a part of the win, I mean, it's awesome. So I, and that makes me more happy than, you know, going out there and playing 40 to 50 reps by myself. You come out of it feeling pretty fresh. Yeah, no, I feel great. Uh, I think a lot of other guys feel pretty good coming out. Uh, lifted Sunday, felt good, and, you know, got the legs back today, so I'm excited. Hey, Ty, what stands out about Colorado's offensive line after watching them on film? Yeah, you know, they're a solid group. Uh, they got, they're really great pass protectors. Um, they're pretty aggressive in the run. Uh, you know, we're just going to have to, you know, just stick to our process, stick to our technique, and, and, and go play and go work because we know the route is going to be up front. Thank you.